Deadly crash is getting another review after the victim's family fights for a felony charge. It happened near Saddlebrook Ranch in Pinal County last May. Mary Black died from her injuries four months later. The family's outraged, saying the county attorney has dropped the ball. Chief investigative reporter Valor Cavazos is diving deep into this deadly DUI case. It's no secret that Arizona has some of the nation's strictest DUI laws. County Attorney Kent Volkmer says Pinal County is a DUI hotspot. His office has seen a dramatic spike in felony DUI cases, more than 230 a year over the past two years. He has vowed to take action to deal with it. So the family says they're baffled as to why this deadly DUI charge isn't a felony. In a split second, life changed for Marshall and Mary Black. Their life was vibrant, it was full. The couple was heading home on State Route 77, just outside Saddlebrook Ranch. Their daughter, Nandia, had seen them just hours before she caught a flight back to Illinois. I got a phone call from my dad from the ambulance telling me that they were in a serious head-on collision. The front of the car crushed, the couple trapped inside after being hit by an alleged drunk driver with a blood alcohol level well over the legal limit. The DPS report reveals Marshall had been seriously hurt, but Mary's injuries were catastrophic. All but one rib broken, lungs collapsed, chest broken, legs fractured. She was on a ventilator fighting for her life. Four months later, she lost the fight. The Black family expected the driver to be charged with a felony for the death of their mother in the head-on collision, but he wasn't. Court documents show he had been cited for extreme DUI, speeding, and driving left of center, all misdemeanors. About two weeks later, the prosecuting attorney requested the case, all counts, be dismissed without prejudice. As a former prosecutor and as a current defense attorney, I'm in disbelief. Our family has been destroyed. We don't have public safety on the streets of Pinal County when something like this can happen. And, and the individual is still driving. The Black family started asking questions. Nandia says she was told by a DPS trooper and the county attorney confirms that the driver admitted on the scene that I take full responsibility. I fell asleep at the wheel. It's my fault. So I asked County Attorney Kent Volkmer why the driver wasn't charged with a felony. Can you explain that? It's because of where the collision actually occurs. The evidence doesn't allow us to do that because he did not cause the accident. The evidence he's referring to is this crash reconstruction report completed nine days later. Volkmer says Marshall Black caused the accident, not the alleged drunk driver. He points to what the investigating trooper determined. Marshall didn't yield the right of way. He was making a left turn at the moment of the crash. DPS is saying this collision occurred in the, um, in the lane of the impaired driver, according to state statute. If somebody makes a left-hand turn in front of you, they're the at-fault driver. But the family disputes the evidence, saying their father told a trooper at the scene he never started to turn. My father stated very clearly he was in the designated left turn lane, stopped, waiting to turn left. She points to these pictures they took of her father's wrecked car as evidence. DPS reported it was a head-on crash. I ask anyone who can look at this picture of my parents' car, look at the damage that's to the driver's side. Yet, Mr. Volkmer wants us to disregard common sense and say that this was a damage to the passenger side of a vehicle that was making or beginning to make a left turn. It was devastating for our family. The couple's son, Andrew Black, is a former prosecutor and FBI agent who ran the Tucson office. He started questioning the prosecuting attorney. So I asked him, have you seen the photographs of the vehicles? And he hesitated, and the prosecutor said, yes, I have. I said, so you're saying that the damage to those vehicles indicate greater damage to the passenger side because my dad was turning left. And his response was, absolutely. I was floored. I told him, this is disgraceful. What is going on with this case? Can you explain what happened there? 
I'm bringing the images up right now, so I apologize. Correct. I, I will tell you it was on the driver's side. That's what I wanted to review. I just reviewed the images. As to specifically your question about how could he have gotten that wrong? Look, he ha it's not like he has one case. Um, my guess is he just was mistaken for that moment in time. It doesn't mean he didn't look at the case. I think we've all made mistakes. But the family believes the biggest mistake is to not charge the driver who has a prior DUI with a felony. They are considering merely a misdemeanor DUI in this case with a fatality. That to me is unconscionable. There were a couple points that the family did point out. I did agree to have a another attorney take a cold look at this. So obviously if he comes back with a differing opinion and thinks we can prosecute it, I'll be sure to let you know. I don't think that's gonna happen. One of the points is a discrepancy in the DPS report on the speed of the driver, and the attorney is now looking into that. Our investigation into this deadly DUI case is far from done. On Thursday, find out why Volkmer is so adamant the case can't be prosecuted as a felony and why the family and a legal expert believes it could. Valerie Cavazos, 13 News Investigates.